DeepSeek R1 is super powerful and super impressive, except that it's trained on Chinese government preferences. Well, Perplexity just released a version of DeepSeek R1 that's post-trained not to do that. Now this is exciting. Let's dive in. So what did they do? Well, they gathered a bunch of information about censored topics in China and turned them into questions and answers. And then they used that data to train DeepSeek R1. Because R1 is a reasoning model, they did have to figure out how to add reasoning into those data sets as well. But how do you know if it actually worked? Well, they created a data set that they could use to evaluate the model of over a thousand examples of things that might trigger the censorship. And they used humans and LLMs to judge those outputs. Specifically, look at the original DeepSeek models. Yikes. An important thing to look into whenever you do any additional training on a model is to make sure that it doesn't regress on benchmarks, and it did not. So basically now you have a version of DeepSeek that isn't censored on specific topics that the Chinese government doesn't want to talk about, and it still performs really well. This is an open source release, model weights are available on Hugging Face, and you can use the model via the Sonar API. This one I like. Thanks Perplexity! I'm Diana, and I break down tech startups and AI without the hype. Follow for more.